now with our guest. I've got with me the Hill columnist and author of Liberal Invasion of Red State America, Kristen Tate, and the Federalist Senior, senior Editor, Christopher Bedford. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us, here. Jerry. So, Kristen, let me start with you. Um, the inflation numbers are clearly uh, getting worse. Um, the White House seems to think that this Inflation Reduction Act is going to do anything, going to do something about it. This could not have been worse timing, really, could it? Such bad timing. I mean, watching the Democrats basically celebrate themselves while Americans are still struggling really was the perfect symbol for how out of touch this administration is with working class people. Uh, yes, gas prices did go down last month, but that's mostly because we're entering a recession. So uh, demand is just not there anymore. But last month, consumer prices, electricity, the cost of food, that all went up. People are still struggling. And this president must think voters are stupid if he expects them to believe that this improperly named Inflation Reduction Act is actually going to help inflation. It's just going to make inflation worse. This is just another trillion dollar boondoggle spending bill that pumps a ton of money into the system and funnels our tax dollars off to the Democrats' friends in the green energy business. It's a total joke. And in fact, as soon as the bill passed, we saw the media stop calling it the Inflation Reduction Act, and many of them just started calling it the climate bill. They're not even trying to pretend any more that this has anything to do with in, with uh, reducing inflation. Uh, I, I just don't understand it, Jerry. This administration just seems hell-bent on destroying the economy. The it, Democrats are not the party of working-class Americans anymore. Uh, Christopher Bedford, this was a terrible week for the stock market. The stock market clearly didn't like those inflation numbers, nor did uh, the bond market, by the way. Interest rates spiking. The Federal Reserve is almost certainly going to aggressively raise interest rates next week, perhaps even by a whole percentage point, which is literally never done in the modern era. That's going to induce a recession. So the, the, all the, everything that Kristen said that describing the, the terrible situation we're in, it's only going to get worse, isn't it? It is. And right now, the White House is trying to treat this as an imaging problem as opposed to just an actual policy problem that they have on their hands. And they're doing a terrible job at the imagery. I guess the guy who got fired over that Nuremberg-like rally, his replacement seems to have come up with James Taylor singing a song about suicide while the economy completely crashes all around us. Couldn't he have sung, you've got a friend in me or something like that? <laughs> but these are this imaging problem is, is not going to be solved. This problem is not going to be solved by better imagery from the White House. They can't talk their way out of this, like Joe Biden's been trying to do. There's a lot of different things that they can twist you around and about. They can claim that the border crisis is actually caused by Donald Trump. They can claim that crime is not a problem in America. But every single person across the entire country, when they go to the grocery store, when they get their electric bills and their energy bills after the heat wave, when they start to get some of the uh, gas bills this winter, they can feel it. People are suffering. The majority of Americans right now say that they're suffering in some way economically, and there's no way for the White House to talk its way out of that. Kristen, just briefly, have Republicans got a, a good message on this, on inflation? Is their message getting through? Uh, yes, but they need to stick to that message and stop letting Democrats bait them into talking about Donald Trump. This inflation problem and the high costs, this is what Americans care about. Republicans do have the winning message, mm -hmm. but they need to stick to it. 